Okay, so I was uh, trying to work on the chest piece here and ended up cracking it across here and here. This is where the lines are for the uh, actual detail in the armor. So, as you can see here, I've actually cut uh, the lower section off. I'm going to completely redo this. It was something that I've been working on. I'm just going to toss the whole thing now. So, out that goes. All right, so. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to cut this piece here and then we're going to rejoin this but i'm going to make it a little bit larger um the hole in the center was was good but i'm going to make it like that so it's going to end up being a little bit larger um this is actually just a mcdonald's top of a super size or large size drink so um but what i'm going to go ahead and do now is cut this section here and go from there so let me show you real quick enough I should be able to break this off now maybe there we go all right so now I have the two sections um, just a tad bit um, so I'm gonna probably cut it down the center here and cut it down the center here just make uh, room for the larger arc reactor ring now um, but yeah, it's a little bit extra work uh, considering I'm trying to get this done for Halloween and this is something that did not need to happen. So, but uh, I'll be back in a little bit on uh, how to join these together. All right. I'm making some breakfast this morning and heating up some clay. It's about 60 degrees outside, it's pretty cold. So, I'm going to heat up some clay that's been sitting out in my shop. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and continue with the fix for the uh, chest piece for the Iron Man armor. So uh, basically I'm just trying to heat the thing up so uh, it's easy enough to knead and I can kind of form it to what I need to do because I'll be using the clay to um, hold the chest piece together while I fiberglass it. So uh, considering it's such a weird angle, um, it needs something that will be able to conform to a shape that I can make that will hold in place while I work on it. So. So as you can see here, I've got the nice warm clay. It's nice and needy and uh, malleable. So not the hard clay that it was a few minutes ago. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, the pieces here and I'm going to lay some clay on the bottom of this here. And just kind of push it down to where I think it should, should be. So it holds it up off the off the cardboard and uh, gives me enough space to stick clay underneath if I need to or whatnot. So, um, same thing on this. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap in here. And the reason being is um, I actually need to stretch this out a little bit. And I'll be doing some readjusting on the front of it to make it look better um, so it's more symmetrical. What I'm doing is uh, th this top end is kind of heavy, so it needs something to support it. So I'm just going to stick that there, and I'm going to stick this 
last piece right over here. I'm just going to make it into a cylindrical piece and then stuff it in there. So, just so I got something to hold. So, and that looks like that's about it. So, I'll come back in a little bit to lay up the fiberglass on this piece. So, thanks guys. Alright, so, uh, put some clay underneath here just to kind of shore it up. And I'm going to go ahead and fiberglass this real quick. So, and it's going to drip and it's going to make a mess. That's why I got the cardboard here. So, I'm just trying to slather it on here. And I'm going to put another piece across here. same thing for the other side. Now this one's a little bit different because it's got an inset. So I have to make the bend with the fiberglass and then go over. I'm just pushing it into the clay. I'm not going to get an absolutely perfect looking piece in the front but I'll be able to go back with Bondo and fix that. So, right now, stay together, um, and then I can reinforce it and back it up with more fiber along. So, but for now, this is what this is the first part of the fix for this. And I gotta wait for this to dry. It'll probably take about an hour or so. Um, one more piece here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and wait for this to, to harden up then, after I'm done with this, and then I'm going to actually be adding foam to the sides here. Um, and with the foam, um, I'm not sure if I want to try and fiberglass it in or hot glue it in and then fiberglass it, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but that's um, something I'll be working on today as well. And um, basically I have to be doing that in sync with the back, uh, the back part of the chest piece as well, because I want them to be... Uh, fitting together properly uh, when I'm done with this. So now it's looks like the third third layer there that I'm doing for fiberglass, and that should about do it. Um, there'll be a little bit of touch up around the corners and down here that I got to fix, but uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, just once again takes time. So which is something that I'm running against as I'm trying to get this finished for Halloween. So. And once again, we're just trying to do the whole whole deal. We're getting the air bubbles out and making sure that the fiberglass is tight to the existing piece. So, and that looks like that's about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for now. And I will be back once it dries to finish up the uh, fixing of the front. Um, some of the bondoing and some other stuff to, to get this to look right. Because it, it won't look right because there's a, about a quarter of an inch gap between each side right now. So... All right, thanks, guys. Okay, so here we are about an hour later. As you can see, we've got one solid piece now. I've taped up the front of this because uh, I want to recreate this hole here or at least clean up the edges on it. So uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some fiberglass in here now. I'm going to wet this first and then go from there. And 
with placing fiberglass along the edges here and I'll scoot this forward as I go along um, just to add some more reinforcement and so I can get a better detail hole and start from something uh, fresh instead of trying to build off of something that was already already there and obviously quite broken so start adding some on top I mix this setup a little bit hotter because I'm kind of in a hurry today. Um, so I've got limited time with this one here. So that's why I'm working so fast. I'm trying to get this all down before it becomes too gelled. Let's see, I got that right there. So that's uh, really quite messy looking in some spots there, but uh, it'll get the job done. I'm basically looking to make the hole bigger, but I want to recreate the area uh, first, and then I'll take a hole saw or, or even just draw it out uh, and then dremel the thing out. So um, let's put this right here. So this is just about gelled up here, so I'm, I'm about done with this. So I'm going to wait this, let this wait for about another... Another hour, uh, maybe 45 minutes, because I said I set up a little, little pot. And I just added more hardener to it. Um, so, once that's done, I will be back and we'll start some bondoing. I got to bondo some holes in the front, uh, try and recreate some stuff of building it up uh, with the bondo, and I'll show you how, how I do that. And then uh, from there, it looks like there's a bald up section of fiberglass. Um, so I'll be doing that and then uh, showing you the rest of the process and how to fix this. So, uh, so hopefully you too, if you have a broken uh, piece uh, or you want to stretch your armor a little bit, uh, this would be a good tutorial for you. So, all right, thanks guys. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna start doing some fiberglass or bonding here. Um, just finish. What I ended up doing was I actually took the, uh, the center of that cup and jammed it in there while it was still wet and then uh, made the fiberglass build up around the outside edge of this. So once it was kind of a little bit tacky, I pulled it out. Um, it gives me at least a, a general shape and form that I can use to, to start off of. So um, I'm going to go ahead and mix up some Bondo here real quick. And we're going to do this in small sections because uh, we don't want to just slather on a bunch of Bondo and then try and work through it. It's not not fun and it's a waste of product. So um finish mixing this up here real quick. Alright, so we're gonna go around the outside edge here um and deal with this corner here. I'm gonna leave this for for later. Kinda wanna get some shaping done here first. So right, we're just gonna take that and Jam it in the hole there. And 
I'm just trying to smooth this out so it's a nice even piece. Side circle here. Now, as you can see, I've laid some tape up on the inside so I can get an edge on that. And then, uh, once this is somewhat cured, I'll pull it before it's completely dried so it's easy to pull off. I just kind of want a swooping connectivity between these two pieces here. And that's what at least what I'm looking for, for getting. So, um, I really should have taken the paint off there, but that's okay. Uh, this is just for my my costume. Um, it might end up cracking there or separating because of the paint, but um, it should be okay. So. Now Bondo does have a tendency to shrink a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is this is where the, the spot where the uh, fiberglass was cut. So I'm just going to add a little bit more on top. It'll be a large bump there, but at least I can kind of feather it out as opposed to going back and adding more Bondo later. fill in some of this with some bondo because I got some left. Okay. So that'll about do that for now. Um, I'll have to go back and obviously add some more, take some away. Uh, but for now, it's starting to kind of get rubbery a little bit. All right, so that's after a little bit of sanding. We're going to add some Bondo here. You can see there's some sp spots, uh, like right here, that need some Bondo. So I'm just going to put a little bit on there right now. Some right there. So basically any low spots. I'll have to hit it back up with the sander again, but that's okay as long as it's smooth after it's done. So. Now the bits, big section is right here, and what we're going to do is just go ahead and push that over the top there, and then kind of blob a whole bunch right there. <laughs> 
Okay, so here we are after the bundles dried. Um, let's start sanding some of this area here. I'm going to go ahead and finish doing that. As you can see, I'm feathering out the Bondo to the existing layer. Looks like I need to do sand this down a little bit more uh, to make this more rounded. Add a little bit here. Um, add some here, and then clean this area up right here. So after that, it should be pretty much. And as I said, this needs to be raised. This needs to go down a little bit. I'll have to figure that out, and then I have to move this line further over because wider. So. Um, but I'll be back with some more Bondo. All right, so did a lot of sanding. Uh, add some Bondo stuff to do a little bit of touch up uh, with some uh, spot putty and uh, maybe a little bit of Bondo here in some other areas. But uh, pretty much that's it. Um, it's a complete piece um, and I'll be adding foam to the sides. So. Um, I'll be doing the strips and foam and then some of the details and foam 
and then going from there and then fiberglassing that because um, I kind of want it to look uniform and the same as far as coating and everything else so um, but yeah that's pretty much about it um, just seems like I'm shooting video all day long and working on this thing but I've been working on three other projects this, at, at the same time so but anyway so if you guys have any questions let me know uh, once again subscribe like um, and you know the drill thanks guys